morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out on this Sunday morning with a scripture reading from Luke chapter 18, verses 31 through 43. Then he took the twelve aside and said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked and insulted and spat upon. After they have flogged him, they will kill him, and on the third day he will rise again. But they understood nothing about all these things. In fact, what he said was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what was said. As he approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard a crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Then he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who were in front sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he shouted even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and ordered the man to be brought to him. And when he came near, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight, your faith has saved you. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people when they saw it. Praise God. If you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning. Let us now pray together. Dear Lord, on this Sunday morning, we are here today with open hands and an open heart ready to depend on you to help us through the day and to learn from you and your word in this day. We uh, help us to come to you for guidance, for strength, for provision, and protection. As we face tough choices and hard situations. Help us to remember our belovedness. Help us remember that we are your child and your representative to the world around us. Help us live today in a way that brings honor to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.